Hydrogen has been available since the 1970s. It is an ergoloid mesylate, an extract of a fungi grown on rye. There are a number of actions of hydrogen, which is officially listed as stimulating dopaminergic and serotonergic receptors and blocking alpha adrenoreceptors. But one of its most interesting actions is its ability to stabilize oxygen and improve energy availability. So much so that it is used in electroshock and drowning emergencies. However, it is its impact on mitochondria that we will focus on today. The mitochondria are the intracellular powerhouses where the universal energy molecule ATP is generated. It is known that mitochondria are to be found at their highest numbers in rats of 12 months of age, equivalent to a 25-year-old human, and thereafter they progressively decline. There are literally thousands of them in every cell and where high energy environment exists. Up to 40% of the cytoplasmic space is occupied by mitochondria, i.e. heart and liver cells are 20 to 25%. With ageing, the numbers of mitochondria decline, but the size of the remaining mitochondria increase. It would appear that their maximum efficiency is achieved by a large number of small, highly efficient units, which is the young model, unlike the old model, which is fewer, larger, inefficient units. What is significant about hydrogen is that it has been shown to change the total volume of old rats' mitochondria to those of young rats. Furthermore, mitochondrial size and efficiency is also altered in a youthful direction, as seen in these charts. Mitochondria are vital cells. However, in the process of creating ATP, they expose themselves to free radical damage. As each mitochondria provides energy for the cell it occupies and cannot borrow energy from other sources, their condition is a critical factor. The conclusion of Bertoni and Fridari's test, shown here, is that hydrogen can significantly restore youthful morphological characteristics to mitochondria, which for our purposes is highly significant as they assist in the production of brain energy. The last item about hydrogen to focus on is its ability to stimulate the growth of dendrite nerve fibres. Dendrites can normally be expected to decline with ageing, and some scientists have associated the number and density of dendrites with intelligence. Hydrogen is therefore used to improve cognitive function, clarity and mood at dosages of approximately 1.5 mg to 5 mg daily. Controlled clinical tests have revealed that hydrogen improves symptoms of mental deterioration related to ageing, such as instability, dizziness, concentration, disorientation, memory loss, lack of initiative, depression, lack of sociability and difficulties in carrying out everyday activities. On an anecdotal level, many report that hydrogen reduces brain fog, or situations where physically you are awake, but mentally you want to switch off. Plus, hydrogen seems to expand the periods at which high-level mental workload can be undertaken, so it can be very useful when you need to get things done.